Hello, I'm Ralph Kopsch. With a set of three videos, I'm introducing to you the ARM U-Link Plus debug adapter that allows to analyze power consumption of your embedded application. It also enables test automation for continuous integration. In this video, we connect the U-Link Plus and configure our application for debug and trace. The U-Link Plus supports serial wire and JTAG interface modes via a standardized Tamping Cortex-M debug connector, to which I now connect the U-Link Plus debug adapter. Next, I power up the adapter with connecting to the USB port. The LED colors indicate a status such as program execution or halt. The blue LED confirms that the Ulink Plus is successfully connected to the PC. In combination with the Ulink Plus, the MDK debugger supports many features such as electrical isolation of the debug interface, which is important for many applications, hot plugging to a running target for status monitoring, live watch of the program execution with value displays, breakpoints for example on a variable change to a specific value, verification of the processor core clock frequency, status and event views for software components or user annotations. With serial wire trace, short SWO, you get also statistics of interrupt execution, data trace of up to four variables and a system analyzer that shows program execution over time. So let me show some of these features in action. I now start Microvision and configure the Ulink Plus debugger. If the connection to the Ulink Plus works, the firmware version is displayed. If the debug connection to the hardware is established, you see the ID of the ARM Core Side component. Next I start the debugger. Now you can single step, watch variables or memory. But I open the watch window for the RTX RTOS component that shows me the status of the real-time operating system in my application. When I start my application, I can review the thread execution. This now is the event recorder. It shows the events of your program annotations, in this case of the real-time operating system. You may filter the events that interest you to verify program activity. With the peripherals system viewer, you get status views, for example, of the analog digital converter of the microcontroller. For example, the DAT register shows the conversion result. Now let us view a variable of my application that contains the A2D result. When I change the input with a potentiometer, I can see this variable changing during program execution. Today, microcontrollers have a complex clock setup that requires PLL configuration. With the Ulink Plus and the System Analyzer, you can easily verify the configured processor core frequency. The graph shows the core clock over time, so you would even see dynamic clock changes. This core clock is needed for the trace configuration that I confirm in the corresponding setup menu. Don't forget to enable trace before you restart the debugger. Now the system analyzer shows the interrupt execution of your application. But you can even monitor variable changes, for example, the A to D value. This value is now shown over time when I rotate the potentiometer. Now you get an impression of the powerful debug and trace capabilities of Ulink Plus. In my next videos, I show you the power measurement and test automation.